Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time we looked at all the basics, and now that we've had a look at Obama and Battlefield, I think we're gonna get another star there. Or maybe two. Just to learn a bit more of the basics. And then we're gonna move on to another level. Shoot to the island in the sky. So, let's start heading up the mountain. Because we're probably gonna want to do that. We've already opened up the cannons. Once you've opened it up in a level, it stays that way. And also, once you beat Cooper the Quick and go into a level, on, into this level specifically, if you jump onto him, he splits apart from his shell. He will try to get it back, so you need to grab it quickly. But if you jump on top of it, you will ride it. Killing Cooper the Quick will give you a blue coin, which is five coins. And then you can surf. If you crash into a wall though, or get hit by something, you will break the shell. But for now, it's a pretty good way of transport to go quickly. You can also press the ZL button to break it, so. But anyway, it's a good theme that it plays though, so if you if you look just look up the music. It's it's a good song. Anyway, let's just jump past here. And as you can see there is an island in the sky, which is what we need, so. There's also a cannon on the mountain here that we can use, so. Oh my goodness, hang on, I'm going to press the minus button because on this, on Super Mario 3D All-Stars you can actually change camera stuff. Now which one was I upset with just a second ago? Probably the up and down, no, left and right, hang on. Okay, I'm used to it being inverted with something, but I'm not sure which, but in this version it's just aim. So anyway, that's probably easier version to figure out, but anyway. I think for this we want to actually just aim slightly above this tree though, so we grab the tree or land on the ground and land safely here. There's another red coin up here, so. And if we quickly just grab one of the coins in the middle of one of these rings, hang on, I know I can do this. I know I can. It gives us a one with a little extra sound effect. We're not going to worry about that right now, let's slowly read the sign. When you put on the wing cap that comes from a red block, do the triple jump to soar high into the sky. Use the left stick to guide Mario. Pull back to fly up, tilt forward to nose down, and press CL to land. Well, we can't really do that right now. There is another cannon here if we want it. But there's also a little box up here. Hang on, there's also a sign that I didn't realize was here. Hang on. Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring, or find a secret point in a, in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. So that's what it's talking about with the rings. But you can actually see the coins that you need to collect from here, and they just, they're in the sky. We want to actually be able to do that with a bit more efficiency. Anyway, this block here we can actually break open. Has a star for us. And there we go. That's good enough in that level for now, so let's head out. And let's go to another course that we've had available to us for a little bit now. Let's go into this one. Reacting the star. We can now go in. So, if we go around here quickly before going in. There's a little toad we can talk to, and there's also a sign near the, next to the door that I probably want to read. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in some courses until you press the cap switches. The, the stars you found will show, our, show on each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you've recovered from them. Which actually... Reminds me of other things. Also, if you're running and then press the opposite direction and jump, you'll do a side flip, which is very useful. Now, let's read this. Sometimes you'll bump into invisible walls at the edges of, a, of the painting worlds. If you hit a wall while flying, you'll, be, you'll bounce back. Basically saying if you go while you're flying from a level too far away from the level and try to leave, you'll just die. Anyway, let's jump into this. Course 2, Womp's Fortress. Chip off Womp's block. 
Hello, the Lakitu Bros cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He is about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up uh, filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around by tilting right stick, uh, pull right stick back to view uh, the action from, the dis from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is the Lakitu Bros signing off. So there we go. And over here, we have a uh, piranha plant. And if we run around it, it'll actually get... get uh, uh, it'll wake up and try to... T Although the blue coins will be there again whenever you restart the level. So, leave an exit. No, leave an exit? Good job, me. Whenever you leave the level and come back into the level. Shadow a star in front of you is a star marker. When you collect eight red coins, the star will appear here. We've already read that. That's why I went through it quickly. Anyway, let's plop this box for some coins. Since there's some back here. I don't think there's a warp here, but that's okay. But anyway, we can go up this way. And we have these things in the wall that are trying to push us off. I don't think they can kill you, but they can try. Oh, careful. Over here we have some platforms that will go in and out. If you're standing on them when they press into the wall, they will drop you down into the void. You can try to wall jump out if you're good enough, but that's probably not going to work out very well. And this here is a thwomp. Don't stand underneath it when it crushes, crashes into the ground. Because you will get squashed and take a lot of damage. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue uh, blocks. Step on the switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. We've already read that, but this block is not red, it's green. Interesting to know. Anyway, let's head up this path here. Jumping up slowly. Another thwomp up, uh, thwomp up here. We can just pass that. Now, let's read this sign here. The path is narrow here. Easy does it. No one is allowed on top of the mountain. And if you know what's good for you, you won't wake anyone who's sleeping. Move lightly, move slowly, tread lightly. I'm good at reading. Anyway, we can run down this if you're feeling like not falling off is going to be easy enough. Some coins down here that we can grab. And also, a little hole covered up by a pink bomb. -bom. Like, vent vent thing, I guess. Now, this is gonna probably explain blue coins again, since we've already gone over that. Break, o break open the blue coin block by pounding the ground with a ZL button. One blue coin is worth five yellow coins. But you have to hurry. The coins will disappear if you're not if you're not quick to collect them. Too bad. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that and collect them. This is probably... Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna hold off on that. Just ignore, just ignore me. There's also a red coin up there. Just slightly up further. Probably can't get that on that slope though. Let's head back up this way. And now, we have another one of these prior plants. Let's be very gentle and punch. There we go. That will give us another blue coin. Over here, though, we have this bridge, and we need to run across it quickly, because if we don't, the blocks are just going to fall, and we're going to have trouble with that. I believe they come back, possibly. Not sure. I think there's actually one down there that we can see in the corner, which is interesting. Caution, narrow bridge. Cross slowly. You can jump to the edge of the cliff and hang on, and you can climb up off the edge if you move slowly. When you want to let go, either press CL to, or tilt the left stick 
in the direction of Mario's back. I'm pretty sure we've gone over this already. Thanks, game. Anyway, let's just try to go across this carefully. Otherwise, we're going to fall off. And there's another piranha plant here, but we can just ignore it. Otherwise, we can just go along that side path there by holding closely to the wall. I'm just going to go across this rotating platform. To try and get across, like that. There we go. Oh, I fell off. Of course. Of course I did. Anyway, I'm going to try and get back up there then. I believe this means that the, uh... The Prana plant respawned though, unfortunately. So let me go too fast and then just go around it like that. And now I can actually go across this, I guess. As an example, red coin there, so you need that in later points. Just gonna get review. I don't really need the blue coin right now though. Don't fall off, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, just be careful, just, just be careful. Oh my goodness, don't fall off please, thank you. Anyway, we have some Womps here, if they see you in front of them they will try to slam you, but you can ground pound them once they're on the ground to kill them, and they'll give you lots of coins. Now, let's read this. Climbing's easy when you, yeah, we've read that already as well. I'm guessing So, we could have just skipped most of the level by just doing this. There's also some stuff down there that we want, might want to get at some point. If we can find a way down there, that's not going to be bad for us. Another thing we can do with these uh, Womps here is stand on top of them and jump for coins to pop out of them. So that's a way to get their coins without killing them if you really want to. Pacifist, pacifist run Mario. Probably not a possible thing. <laughs> anyway. Let's go up here. It makes me so mad! We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads and still you walk all over us. Literally. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, we're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha. Huh. So, this... King Womp here is going to try and crush us, which is doing a lot of damage. If you stand close to him and then jump around... Yeah, you want to stand in the shadow when he's about to jump at you. Because he's going to miss, and then just ground pound him, basically. Otherwise, you can just get out of the way of his slam and then jump onto him. Same thing. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gra gravel. Uh... Grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. This is the only star that you can select to have King Womp spawn in. So from now on, this is just going to be a different space up here. here we go. And there we go. Let's actually head back into the level now. To the top of the fortress. 
So, now that we've done all that, something we probably want to do is actually back up, backflip up here just to skip the other stuff down there, since that's the way you're supposed to go. But it's easier just to go up this path pretty much every single time. There's not, not, there's only one, one red coin along that path that you really want to grab. But anyway, let's make our way to the top of the fortress, which is not that hard to do, considering we're almost there. And now, this little thing over here is a cannon that shoots blah, blah, the, the bill, blah, bullet bills at us. The bullet bills will bump, like, hurt us if they get to us, so. They are homing, so you need to be careful, and yeah. But anyway, now that we're up here, this tower is here, and it's got uh, little platforms in the sides that we can climb up. The platforms go in and out with some of them, but if we can make it to the top without falling off, and that is by staying on this platform, it becomes an elevator, <coughs> and we can actually go up here and grab the star. Pretty simple. Pretty good. Let's head back in. Shoot into the wild blue. This one's this one is one that I remember quite well from my childhood. So let's just backflip up there. And if we go over here to where the cannon panel is, there's also a pink bob bomb here. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. So, what we want to do for this star is use this cannon. And we want to aim just right. So we want to line up with this uh, pillar here. We want to be high enough to allow us to be able to bump into that and actually go in. So, I'm going to go here hopefully, not being able to see the ground through because of the shadow. And let's go... Too high. Okay. Well, at least we know now that you don't actually need to shoot so high, and we can actually have that platform visible, I guess. Just as long as it's in line with the pillar, it should be good. So, let's just be very finicky to try and get this to work. So you want it about... Just about there, I guess. And we're going to slam to that pillar, and now we're up here in this little area here. It's got some coins for us to collect, and also a pole in the middle, which we can slide down. And here is our star. Here we go. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open. Oh, you can now you can open the door with the big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? I'm not sure if we can. And I don't know what star is next in this level. I'm going to check it quick quickly. Red coins on the floating aisle. I'm pretty sure that Bob on Battlefield is also currently um, wanting red coins. So, either one works. But we just need to collect all eight red coins in either a level. I think we saw most of them in each level. So, but now... Go get this one, which is over here. Hang on, hang on. Off of that block, please. And we want to jump onto that, or oh, backflip works as well. And now, let's just walk past you since I can. Just need to go fast enough so it doesn't actually grab me. Grab this one here. Probably want to take out this uh, piranha plant. Okay, let's cross this. Okay, and then I just want to stand here so that we grab that red coin, and then the one down here, oh no, the one down here you might want to drop for, or possibly just jump like that for. Also, we managed to get a one up to spawn uh, where the, uh, for going around the table thing, turntable thing. But something I want to do as well as get the red coins. I was thinking, I was considering not doing this now, but I think I will. 
We want to collect at least a hundred coins total in this level. Because there's something you get if you do. There's actually something you get in every level, almost. Just the main main courses. If you get 100 coins in each one. So. Let's do that. And you get... Means that if you do it, you get two extra lives when you complete it. As long as you don't die. So, let's go down here. Click some more down here. Just gonna grab all these. There's a lot of coins in this level to actually grab, so this is probably the easiest level to do it in. So let's do that, and then... This one over here I want to slow down for. And get rid of you. Okay, we're doing very well now. Let's just backflip onto that. Okay, we're doing very well. We need only 18 more regular coins. And how many red coins do we have? Okay, we need two more red coins. So we need to find those. Probably getting very close though. Get rid of you so I can get your coin. Yeah, there's so many coins this level. There's This is the easiest one to do this in. Oh, no, I fell. It's a good thing that that didn't make me fall, make, take full damage because it thought I was going to slide. Now, this isn't... Getting 100 coins in a level doesn't count the same. Like, it's not a global um, reward, so you do have to do it in, in every level. But each level has it, so... Just gonna wait for this bridge. I should have just taken the warp. I don't know what I was thinking by not just taking the warp. The warp is a lot easier than having to try to not fall for this bridge. I guess. Anyway, let's get this warp here. Let's do that. Okay, almost there. Just need three more coins, and that should be pretty much done with this Womp here. Let's get you to do that, and then let's go. So, for collecting a hundred coins in a level, an extra star will appear. And if we grab it, don't worry about your red coins. As long as it's the 100 coin star, you will stay in the level, and you will get to save. Murray gains more power from the castle. This is, you have to grab the 100 coin first if you want to grab two stars in at the same time. Uh, but getting them 100 coin star in each level is easiest when there's also red coins that you can get at the same time. You can't do that in every level though, so this is just a luxury at the moment. By kick kicking this beam, and then kicking it again as it's wobbling, we can walk across it carefully, not gonna fall off. But the last two red coins are over here, so let's try to get those. Oh my goodness, the thing just popped me off of that. Okay, grab that. Okay. We've got these spit, like, rotating platforms that are just out here. We can also see the star in the cage up there that we can't get to from here. But now, that's all eight red coins. Let's head down. Carefully, carefully, carefully. If you, ah, uh, if you, uh, if you kick while you're in the air, or ground pound just as you're about to hit the ground, you won't take any fall damage, so that's good to remember. Here we go. Two extra one-ups, and two extra stars. Very nice. We're done with this level for now. Let's just head to probably a new level. Let's go into this one. Now, is there a sign up here? I guess there would be. No? No sign. Maybe a little bit lower down. I just don't want to miss any of the signs. I've not- I've never read these signs, so I'm just wanting to know what they say. Step and press CL to crouch, then press B to do a, a high backward somersault. To perform a uh, side somersault, run, do a U sharp U-turn, and jump. You can crouch, you can catch lots of air with both jumps. Cool. Anyway, there's three paintings here. 
but only the middle one is an actual level. Course 4, slightly out of order but that's okay. Cool, cool mountain, slip sliding away, is our first star. So, Snow Mountain Summit, watch for slippery con uh, conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Okay, we don't have to enter the cottage first, but we're going to do what the game says. Santa Claus isn't the only one who can go down a chimney. Come on in, cabin proprietor. Well, the game really wants us to go in here, so let's just jump up here and go in. Now that we're in here, there's nothing up here, but this should be slightly familiar to you in a weird way. Welcome to the snow slide. Hop on to speed up, tilt forward on the left stick. Slow down, pull back. This is another slide, and we need to go down this. We don't need to worry about a timer this time, but we do need to worry about falling off the edge. There's a lot of coins to get on the slide, so if you want to get the 100 coins in this level, you probably want to use the slide first to get a lot of coins. You can get basically 60 coins as long as you're careful and not gonna fall off. And now, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, just gonna make it to the end. This is the last tunnel, but we also have one last pit to worry about just there. And there we go, we made it to the end. Let's go out this door. And for going out the door, a star will appear. We're, at, we're actually at the bottom of the level now, which is way down from where we were before. Let me see if I can actually get a good view from here. Before. We need to make it all the way down to the, ba the big penguin that we saw at the end of the previous star. I want to be careful how fast we slide down this just to be safe. Oh my goodness, there's also other ways we can do this. But for now, this is probably the best option. Just going to walk past all this. And let's try to cross this bridge. If you touch these snowmen though, as they're going across, they will hurt you. And you will drop your baby penguin when you get hit. Which is not good, so you need to be careful and time your movements, unlike me. Luckily the bridge will usually hold the baby penguin somewhat well. Okay. Let's see if I can get past this one. Go. Okay, good. Anyway. We're almost down to that baby, the big penguin down there. So it's the fair way down. We could also just jump down from here and be fine, because if you jump into snow from a great height- Oh, hello. You will just land in the snow and get stuck in it for a second, but you need to just pr press the jump button to get out of it, so... It's not too bad, but you will have to re-grab your baby penguin again. But anyway, for making it all the way down here with the baby penguin... You found my precious baby! Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this. Star. Here, take it. With my eternal gra gratitude. I'm guessing the game actually wanted you to talk to this penguin first to find out what was wrong. But we, uh, we skipped that step because we kind of, it was not that hard to figure out. Kind of, I guess. I guess I've just always known that, so I guess I just assume that you should know what to do. Probably not the best way to think about things. Anyway, let's head back in. And now, for cleaning up both of those stars, we get Big Penguin Race. You can also do the stars out of order, of course, so... Let's head into here. You couldn't do this star, though, out of order. You had to do Little Penguin Lost. So, for doing that all that... There's the Big Penguin here. Hey, hey, Mario! 
Buddy, how's it do going? Step right up. You look like a fast leaden kind of guy. I know his speed when I see it. Yes, sirree. I'm the world champion sledder, you know. What do you say? How about a race? Ready? Go. We can't say no, of course. Now, the problem with trying to get down this quickly with the big penguin following us is that if we get too far ahead, it rubber bands and will go faster to catch up with us and then slow down again when it's further in front of us. You can't take shortcuts by trying to jump off of things to um, lower levels, I don't think. I think it still might work, but still, probably not what you want to do. Oh my goodness, rubber banding, stop it. We want to get past you over here and get to the end. Do not go outside this door. Wait for the, ba the big penguin to move and then talk to it. If you go out, you have to redo the race. You broke my record. Unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that. You're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this star instead. You've earned it. So there we go. Careful not to go out the door. Let's walk into the star. There we go. I don't want to do the next star just yet, but I want to go back to the first star and show that there's actually something in the secret slide that uh, we didn't really do, but it can actually mess you up. There is actually a shortcut in there, but if you use it, it does not count to the race. You can use it on your first time through and any other time through that you need to go down the mountain quickly or collect these coins. But when we get into this little bit over here, there's a few coins going towards the wall. And if you go through the wall, where those coins are, you'll see a one up there. And you just slide through this tunnel. Oh my goodness, let me go through. There's actually two one ups on this path, but I don't think I've ever been able to get them because you have to be, like, actually in line with everything. But we end up in the cabin on a higher level, because that's where we end up down there. And if we... Oh my goodness, camera. Oh my goodness, camera. Please. I can't see. Oh, really? Well, anyway, there's an arrow on the wall as well, pointing you up there. So let me, um... Double jump, and then probably wall jump. Nope, okay. Triple jump, wall jump? Maybe? I think this... Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna do this very well, am I? I think it doesn't have anything important for you anyway. I think it's just a one-up, which I've already said don't matter, so... Anyway, that's unfortunately I fell off of it. But anyway, while we're down here, I quickly want to talk to this, uh, big penguin, since we don't have the baby. He got my baby! Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole world, wide world. They sh say she has my beak. I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see. I stopped for, uh, herring and ice cubes, and then I- Oh, I just don't know. Anyway, that's all that done. When you've re whenever you collected a star and go back to collect it, it will just be a blue star and won't count towards your overall total, but you can still re-collect re it just for, I don't know, old time's sake if you want to just redo a star. But anyway, with that, that's all I want to do for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.